I'm Evan Heiser. The problem I'll be talking about today is drug addiction. 7.5 billion people living on this planet. 247 million are going through drug addiction. In 2010, estimated 23 million American people 12 or older needed treatment for problems with drug or alcohol abuse. This represents 9.3% or almost 1 in 10 people. My solution. My solution is is to spread the word and have teachers talk about drugs more because wait, I am really confused right now. I think you sent me the wrong one. I did. Yeah, you I sent you the, the wrong one. Okay, well, and then you just need to talk through it. Um, whatever is missing on there, just talk through it. There's like part. a whole slide. Okay, just, just talk through it. Okay. Just tell us what was on it. Well, some drugs that are common these days are nicotine, it's probably you know, in my high school, the jewel, it's very bad for you, it's very addictive. And alcohol, it's a party drug, comes with a lot of risks like addiction, bad liver, and also Adderall. People use it to focus more in school and study and it is also bad for addiction and other reasons too. Um, my solution is schools have the anti-drug program called DARE. There are many reasons. What? Can I please send you my other one? <laughs> I'm really messing up right now. It's like really bad. Like really okay, you know, you know the material. I know you know it because you put the slides together. So I, I just need you to do the best you can. All right. Schools have the anti-drug program called DARE. And um, my solution is to spread the word more and have teachers talk more about drugs and the negative effects of drugs. Spread the word, people. Drugs are bad. I'm now open for questions. Evan. Like, oh, good. <laughs> I was going to say, I think the biggest thing I would say is exactly what Ms. Havig just said, is when you were first forced to speak to the slide that wasn't there, you know what you're talking about. And so just having that confidence to continue all the way through, and it, it is hard in presentations. You practice one thing, you know one thing, you're thrown a curveball, and it's by no means an easy thing to get past but just understanding that exactly what she said is true. You put the slides together, you did the research, you understand what your problem is and what you want the solution to be. So just being confident enough to speak to that and kind of rolling with the punches is, you know, all you can do sometimes. But I do think it, it, it is an issue. And I think the one question I would have is when you said encouraging teachers to address the problem a little bit more and talk about the problem a little bit more, do you have any thoughts on how you would encourage the teachers to do that a little bit more or ways to get them more involved? Well, I think that teachers should know that drugs aren't really good and if they spread it more and, you know, some kids look up to their teachers, so I think if teachers spread it more. Okay. Kids will know. It might be worth it then to look at it from more of a uh, like a mentorship or you know looking at people that you do look up to because in theory we should all know that drugs are bad and yeah. so just saying that the teachers should know you know the responsibility kind of does fall on an individual level as well and so looking at some ways that the responsibility isn't just of the teachers but a little bit of that um, responsibility of self might also yeah. be an interesting way to go about it. I'm, I'm kind of glad you had the missing slide when you started off you're sort of reading your slides and when you had the missing slide, you had to talk from your heart. And uh, there's nothing better for a speaker to talk from their heart and, and share their passion. And that's what you were doing when the slide was gone. So don't don't feel bad that you're missing a slide. I, I honestly think that helped you. Good, good job. Um, just a couple things that I once again, I knew, knew this, you weren't comfortable because of, of what you didn't have. Um, but just obviously what you played on and what we couldn't see um, something that I might say is coming from a, from a high school athletic director standpoint, 
Um, I just actually got a text two seconds ago that we had another student get suspended for um, basically dealing tobacco. Um, you know, I can sit there and say, drugs are bad, don't do them. But maybe focus on how students or, or, or young adults can uh, go against that grain versus, you know, having a teacher tell you. Because half the time, sometimes, you're, you're right. I, I know a lot of people look up to Ms. Habig or other, other teachers, but um, it's kind of numb once a teacher tells you, these are bad, you know this. You, the eye roll, the head back. Um, three, we had three, another student, you mentioned the jewels. Yeah. You know they're, even if they're just um, vape or they're just, do you know what they can do to your body? So, so I think it may be more student driven versus versus adult driven. Um, I think you got a great topic. I think, I think it's something that, that you want to roll with and, and do so. What was your personal connection or decision to choose this problem? Well, I've seen a lot of people like family and friends with it out of addiction. I think using that as putting that personal touch to why this is a topic for you is adds to the credibility of it. So I would think about including that next time. And from a professional standpoint, I cannot tell you how many times my presentations either haven't worked at all and so I know that that was super stressful for you but that was probably like the most adult thing that you'll have to do in like all college <laughs> too <laughs> if that's where you decide to go because it is super stressful and I totally get it um, but using some humor and trying to get around it like, I think that's a, a good learning moment for you Evan I think um, I support that I think that you were probably you probably didn't want to do it but I'm glad that Ms. Habe coached you, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, because that's the way the world is. Everything won't be perfect, and sometimes you gotta just take it easy, take a breath, and do it. And I think you did a nice job. Um, I don't know whether one of your sites had a drug list of the top ones um, yeah. nationally, and so that might be a good one to put in just so that people can see, are we talking about tobacco, are we talking about alcohol, are we talking about heroin, cocaine, what are we talking about? And go down the list. That was the site. Was well, not. see, and I figured it might be, and you would have ones that you know that probably some of us don't know. <laughs> so what are those big ones? The other, um, the other thing is um, I think that your age group defined might help because I could tell you we're having teachers talk, so you're talking to students, but what age? Because D.A.R.E. starts very young, as you know, yeah. and mostly when kids don't know a lot about it, and so where do we go from there? What, do you, what are we focusing on, junior high? Because that happens a lot there. We happen about high school, we happen about college, or we do doing worldwide. So I think maybe zeroing in on an audience to start with your solutions might make it just easier to come up with those tactics. Um, because I do think that it, it sounds to me like you're interested in this age student, where you are. Yeah. And that, that's important um, because they also need that. Some are already addicted, okay, and some are not. So what do you do with that? You know, do we start by trying you not to tell you to do it, or do we start by making sure you have help or all the above? So, kind of a continuum. It was a nice job, though. You covered well. Mm -hmm. You know, I know you didn't want to do it. I could tell you, <laughs> say, hey, don't make me do this. Hey, don't make me do it. But she said, do it. And and really, it's like, you know, sometimes we've all been told that just do it, and we did. So it's a better experience. And today, when you go home, you'll think. Or maybe bring in an addict or something. Here, here is the effect. <laughs> of, no, I mean, like, the, the, see the effects of, of what post addict, I guess, the effects of what these do. Maybe like the faces of meth. You yes. Not bring <laughs> well, I, I, <laughs> that may speak to maybe going through rehab or something like that. That is that not not somebody currently doing. doing I imagine that. like Walking Dead, like one of the zombies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the, the, or, or a family member that has been affected by this, so it hits home with somebody. I, I would really encourage you to narrow your topic. Even um, this this is so broad, and if you're focused on if you're focused on high school age students, that's fine. I, I would maybe focus on um, drug addiction related to high school age students, or where what. So you've probably done some research and found the statistics probably line up with students that are you know 15 to 18. What are the most prevalent drugs being abused? Line those things up. And then I think taking a page out of a, a previous presentation is um, maybe surveying high school students. What what 
could be provided for you that would maybe help you, help educate you better on the, the bad things about these, tip, these certain drugs, okay? So it really, you can acknowledge that drug addiction is a huge problem, but then funnel it down to something that target, targets your audience, okay? Yep. Hey, but um, before we, I know, yeah, I think I was so, you're so excited. Um, <laughs> I, I think actually maybe the next place to start in, in light of narrow it down, um, go talk to our deans, right, and figure out, they keep all kinds of track of, of what sort of stuff goes on in this building, right? And, and what kids are getting in trouble for, what they're getting suspended for, just like Matt just got a text that said, you know, we just had another kid suspended. I mean, they have data on that, so they may be able to help you narrow down your topic by saying, you know what, like, jewels are absolutely the biggest problem that we have, and we have it every day, or whatever, whatever it may be, right? Um, I think that'd be a good place to start, uh, right here in the building, and that's not, it's easy to get to get a conversation with those guys. You know. What are jewels? Thank you so much. It's like a new cigarette that you can plug into the USB drive. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Anything else for that? Perfect. Thanks, bud. Appreciate it.